So this is going to be a, a short video about um, NVIDIA's uh, Tesla K80 card. Um, these have just recently started arriving on eBay and you can get them for about $600 or so. Um, the cost to buy these new was $5,000. And the thing that's unique about this card or the thing that's kind of interesting about it is it has lots of memory. It has like 24 gig of RAM and it has 4,992 CUDA cores, so they're great for machine learning. Uh, typically they go in servers, and they're called passively cooled. This means there's no fan to cool it, and they need an external fan to cool them. So at this end there's an opening, and at this end there's an opening. I don't know if you can see that, let me see if you can, there are. So at this end there's an opening, power goes in here, so they're expecting that airflow is going to flow over this, the heatsink films. Uh, the other thing that's interesting about it is there's actually two GPUs in this one card. So when you look at this in uh, an operating system, it looks like two GPUs. And you can see on the back, here's the memory. So that's 12 gig per GPU. So it says it's got as much memory as a Titan XP. Uh, and that's the uh, GPU core. So it's physically kind of like just two GPUs stuck on a card, both with 12 gigs of RAM. So while it says 24 gig, there's 12 gig each. Um, the problem is if you just put this in a normal case, it's going to overheat because you need to cool it. Um, and I've tried a few ways of cooling this. So um, the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cover off. Um, I want to be able to return it to this state. Um, um, but I'm going to take the, the, the cover off so I can get access to the fins and then I'm going to uh, uh, attach fans to it uh, to cool it. I'm going to attach one fan to it and I've tried lots of different fans but this is the fan that I've chosen. It's, um, it's a Delta. Uh, it's a 92 millimeter uh, fan. I think Linus calls this the blowy Matron. I'm not sure, this isn't the 11,000 RPM version, this is the 6,000 RPM version, but it's still way faster than any other fan I tried, including CPU cooling fans. Um, it does draw a, a fair amount of current, um, and also I want it to be temperature controlled, so I've built a little breakout board, which I'll share the spec for, which will actually cool it. And um, uh, this can be plugged into a hard drive connector, uh, it detects the temperature on the card and uh, will adjust the fan speed accordingly. The other interesting thing about this is this is the header that comes with these and this looks pretty normal for a fan um, a fan header. Uh, normally you have these two are the, the, the power uh, so black and red and then you have yellow and blue and in every other fan that I have ever seen the blue one is the PWM cable and the red one is something called the tachometer. It's the uh, how fast is the, sp the, the fan spinning signal. In this fan, and it's completely unique to this fan, uh, well, not you, this make of fans, because I've got three of these uh, Delta fans, uh, the yellow wire is the PWM, and the blue wire, for on this particular model, doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, I can't get it to work as a tachometer or anything else, and I've attached it to an oscilloscope to try and figure out what signal's on it. Um, so um, basically, the yellow uh, uh, the yellow is the uh, PWM, and I actually the other thing that's interesting about it is it's the reverse signal from a normal fan. Um, the uh, when when it receives no signal, it goes to full speed, and the more signal you give it, the more PWM signal you get it, the slower it gets. That's the opposite of what a CPU cooler fan does. So probably not a good idea to connect this to your motherboard because it won't know what to do with it. Um, so I've created this little um, uh, board. It has a fan header on it which uh, works with this kind of fan and has a little Arduino which is reading a temperature uh, uh, sensor, a digital temperature sensor, and it's adjusting the uh, fan speed accordingly. So um, let's get started. So that comes off really easily, and then you actually get access to 
the heat sinks. Notice there's two heat sinks and there's this heat sink in the middle. I don't know what the middle heat sink does, probably power delivery or something like that. Okay, so what I'm going to use is I'm going to put the fan there and I'm going to tape off uh, all the other vents so that the air goes in, actually. It needs to be like that. So the air goes in this end and out that side. So this is about the minimum speed that it will run at. Oh, by the way, these Delta fans will cut your hand if you get your finger caught in them. Um, they run so fast. So this is um, this is a temperature sensor, and what I've discovered is in this configuration, the um, there's two GPUs, and the one that's right under the fan gets cooled really well. So what's happening right now is all of the air is exhausting at this end, um, and the f uh, it takes the air from the first GPU, it goes over the second one and then goes out. So the second GPU inherently gets a little bit hotter than the first because it's being cooled with air that's already cooled the first one. So the one that's right under the fan does really well. Now this is the kind of minimum fan speed, but this thing will ramp up all the way. Um, so. Uh, let me uh, let me just go get a cup of water, hot water, and I'll show you it running when uh, when it thinks it's got eighty an eighty degree temperature. Give me just a second. I have a cup of hot water here. The uh, temperature of the water is about eighty five. So um, luckily, this is a waterproof temperature sensor. Okay, so that's kind of loud. You can probably still hear me. Uh, we're now at 100% PWM speed. The temperature of, of the sensor is 80 degrees. And this is the maximum speed. So what I have is a ramp that goes from 18% to 100% at 80 degrees. And uh, that's kind of it. It's really loud. This is server server room level kind of loudness, 50 degrees centigrade, uh, this is 64% fan speed. Still going down. So going down to 70. Okay, so that's now at 30 degrees. Oh, I've, I've cooled it really fast. So that's about 28 degrees. So this is what I expect to be about normal operation, 20, 30 degrees. And that is 40, that's 40. And by the way, that's a lot of air moving here. You can really feel the air coming out of the exhaust. Yeah, so 30 degrees is about 40% fan speed. Okay, so this is the case I'm going to try and put the card in. So I'll install the card and then we can uh, power it up and see what it does. So I don't know if you can see this, but I've installed the uh, temperature sensor on the top of the card. Let's see if I can get a bit closer. Temperature sensors on the top of the card. Um, I have the uh, this is the fan controller that I built, uh, which works with the temperature sensor, and it just has a 
Molex connector and uh, I'm going to connect it to a uh, power supply. Okay, so I've been running a uh, machine learning model now for, uh, I'm actually running eight uh, deep learning um, Q learners learning to play Space Invaders. Uh, and I'm trying out different um, different fan speeds uh, and seeing how that impacts the actual cooling. So um, the GPUs aren't at full, um, you can see over here, they're, it's about 53% on one. Uh, thermally, they're doing, I don't know, 50 degrees, 40, 48 degrees. Um, currently running the fan at 37% and it seems to be doing okay. So I've been loading up the GPU for uh, quite a long time now. Uh, it's running two separate uh, machine learning models, one in each GPU. Each GPU is basically learning to play uh, Doom. Uh, also using quite a lot of CPU uh, in the process, but not max the CPU. Um, so one card is hotter than the other. Uh, because it's consuming warm air from the card in front of it, uh, which would happen in a server CPU as well, yeah, in a server machine. Um, so the warm card is 64 degrees, and the slightly colder card is 53. Uh, so it's not too bad. The uh, fans are spinning uh, you know, faster than idle. Uh, it's at about 36% uh, of the total uh, PWM um, duty cycle, so 36% fan speed, and it's remaining um, nice, nice and stable. Uh, and there's lots of room left for it to, to go faster, uh, so not at a, uh, a scary uh, temperature. The other thing that's interesting is I'm using all of the RAM in both of these GPUs, so that it's a 24 gig card. So each GPU has 12 gig, and in this scenario, I'm using all of the memory. Um, so 96% of, of each one, I think, 96%. 99% of one, 96% of the other. So um, I think you could call that fully loaded.